Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's session, we are going to take a look how we can manage SharePoint item level permissions using Power Automate. So there are many scenarios where we would like to break the permissions at the item level and item should be visible to only selected few handful users or people so that they can work or add the item. Proceed with the updates. So that's uh, we are going to take a look. So it can be a deep tracking system where you are submitting your leaves and your leave item should only be visible to your manager and uh, nobody other than your manager should be able to have a look on that item. So probably like you are maintaining all the leaves in SharePoint uh, list then only the view uh, when, when you open the list the items belongs to you and the items belongs to your manager should be visible. So uh, the same case with the P uh, some PMO list. So over here I'm taking example of one PMO list where I'm actually adding all the projects and if the project is created by me and should be visible to my manager or you can say or other selected people for example this assigned PM. So we'll be breaking the inheritance over these individual items and then adding or sharing the uh, item again with the uh, selected few selected people. So let's start building that Power Automate, that flow. So I'll be just going to my flow Microsoft.com and creating one instant cloud flow. And as a trigger, I'll choose as when item is created and modified. I just set that site address as my site address. List name I'll pick is pure tracking. And in the next step, first of all, I need to remove the existing permissions. So if I go to my this list item and right click on this one, I can say manage access. You can see I have many users, owners, visitors, members. So these are the groups which are directly given permissions. So these all are having access to this item. So the objective is first of all, we'll remove all the groups. So I'll simply use the action as stop sharing an item or a file. And I'll just find that site address and list. And ID I'll be picking from the previous step that is trigger item ID. So this step will remove all the existing permissions. And in the next step, as I said, so this item should be visible to my manager and the person who is creating the item. So I'll just uh, use the activity as get manager from user profile. So this action, this connector of his sister users, I'm going to use and the action would be get manager and user principal name. So you can just add up the created by email. So this will give me the user and if I specifically I would like to fetch some field then I can use that but uh, I just wish to like get the email ID of my manager so let that be by default selected fields and in the next step I'll set up the permissions so I'll choose share item or file so this goes with the both item and file share item it will give me one action. I'll just scroll down. Yeah. So grant access to an item or folder, not share item. So it will ask for that same site address, list and library, and ID. ID is the same ID, uh, the trigger item ID. And the recipients over here, the recipients I can pick from my Active Directory, for example, if I start typing, so these will be the hard-coded users or recipients which will be provided uh, the access to this uh, particular item. But I would be choosing that item as, first of all, the created by field. So I'll choose dynamic content and created by email semicolon separated. I'll add the email address of my this cat manager so that manager can also be added to this item so I'll just say 
email and there is the mail and you can also uh, use the user principal name of that previous action so manager we can use the user principal name of that cat manager action so we are getting as an output so that is user principal name is the actual the login name and semicolon separated we also wanted to add the assigned to field so which is assigned pm email so now the person who is creating the person who is assigned as pm for the dot project and the person who is the manager of the created by field so these people will be given access directly to to that item and the existing people will be removed from that item using that stop sharing action so i just assign the roles so i would like to assign the role as can add it message you can while notifying because if we wish to send the notification we can turn that on so while notifying you can set up one message over here so i would not like to send them notification while uh, breaking this permissions or, or assigning them permissions so i'll just simply save this flow and now i can go to my this spo tracking list and now i can create one new art project so let's xyz project and i would assign one pm and let's say that pm would be this person and the remaining things i can just leave it as is and saving it and i'll just wait for this flow to trigger okay so my flow is running I went inside to my flow. I can see all the actions are successfully executed and this current action has also successfully executed and it must have added the recipients and this created by person was me and this Chris was my manager and this account is used to be the PMO which we assigned. So we'll just take a look what permissions we got so if I right click on this item and click on manage access so you can see I got four users assigned to it so one is created by person home owners owners are owners of this site so we can't remove these owners so we still the owner should be present so that they can all view the items though like the items were broken inheritance and Chris White was my manager so while picking up that get manager profile and if I just go to the advanced setting in a classic SharePoint style, so you can see like the list item has unique permissions. So that means inheritance was broken and these people were added. So you can see Chris, this person, Prakash, and these people are added as contribute rights. But I was not given because I specifically added myself, but I was not given any rights. And the reason was because I am the owner of this already this item. So it will not show that to me, but I can still have this permission driven with my created field account, created by account. So this is how we can manage. We can stop permission existing, break the inheritance on the item and assign the permission, explicit permission on the specific items. So this scenario applies to many uh, use cases. As I said, managing leaves, managing some tracking item with that should be visible only to the specific user so you, it's a simple flow should be in place and your requirements are done so i hope uh, this would be useful for you as it was useful for me so that's it for today's video thank you and if you like the video please do subscribe and drop like and as well as your comments if you wish me to reach out thank you